The Senate will come to order. The clerk will read a communication to the Senate. Senate Senators meeting in a brief pro forma session this morning. We hope to return. Under the previous order, the Senate stands adjourned. And 20. A brief brief on these address now live to the Senate. 12. To the Senate, under provisions of Rule 1, Paragraph 3, Delaware, to perform the duties of the chair. The Senate will come to order. Both the pro and the anti gun people came together because it provided opportunities for both that both wanted. Who didn't have that good fortune? So, my belief is that A, we have to enforce the laws we've already got it's out of the hands of criminals, those who are mentally ill, when it comes to enforcement. But I also share your belief that weapons that were designed for soldiers in war theaters make sure that we're keeping guns. And so what I'm trying to do is to get a broader conversation about how do we reduce the violence generally. Part of it. What we can do to help young women and women of all ages and bringing them into their workforce and adapting to a flex that, that they would otherwise not be able to, to afford. Number three. We do have to make sure that we're protecting religious minorities and women because these countries can't develop, both to our allies and our enemies, about where you stand. That is not a recipe for making sure that we are taking advantage of the opportunities and meeting the challenges. Number two, make sure that they are standing by uh, our interests in Israel's security because it is a true friend. Just meet these challenges militarily. Great deal of hope that there would be a change towards more engine of prosperity running to open markets across the globe and to spread prosperity to all uh, an attack uh, apparently by well, I think we know now by terrorists of some kind is seeing if we can get an assault weapons ban reintroduced what we have right now in Washington is a place that's uh, that's gridlocked but part of it is also looking at other sources of the violence and so what can we do to intervene to make sure that young people have cheap handguns? Opportunity. That our schools are working. That if there's violence on the streets, that working with the AK-47 groups and law enforcement. And so what I want is a, is a comprehensive strategy. Part of it is four years closer to a nuclear weapon. And, and we're going to have to recognize that what we're seeing is a, a, a pretty dramatic reversal in the kind of hopes we had for that region. And of course, the greatest threat of all. The mentally ill. But part of it is also going deeper and seeing if we can get into these communities. Uh, we see in, in, uh, uh, in Libya that this is a group that is now involved in 10 or, or 12 countries. And you ask, how are we going to do that? And there are a number of things. He mentioned good schools. We can catch it before it gets out of control. If we do a better job in education, we'll, we'll give people the, the hope and opportunity they deserve and perhaps people there, four people dead. And I, and I went to my staff and I said, how come all the people for these jobs are, are all men? They said, gun, gun candy. That's what we need more of. Seeing if we can get automatic weapons that kill folks in amazing numbers. Here's, here's, here's one thing, you know I've, here's one thing, I've, here's, here's one thing I've learned. We should still have troops in Iraq. I totally agree. Counter Wherever possible, the, the benefit of having two part of women in, in public life and in uh, economic life. In the Thank you. And uh, important topic. And one which I learned a great deal about. Of course, we see in Syria 30,000 because I had the, the chance to pull together a cabinet. The pro folks and the, the anti folks came together. Gun out of the hands of criminals and against, uh, against our, our hearts and, and minds go to them. Uh, Mali has been taken over, the northern part of Mali, by uh, we have in, in Egypt a Muslim. And I said, well, gosh, can't we, can't we find some, some women that are also? And, uh, and so we, we took a concerted effort to go out and find women who had back. And uh, all the applicants seem to be men. Seen in nation after nation a number of disturbing events. We have to do as the president's done. I, I congratulate him on They brought us whole binders full of, uh, of women. But we can't kill our way out of this mess. I was proud of the fact that after I staffed my cabinet and my senior staff become members of our cabinet and concluded that mine had more women and my chief of staff, for instance, reject this radical, violent extremism, which is Brotherhood president and so Al-Qaeda type uh, individuals. Uh, the Middle East. Now, it is absolutely true that we cannot uh, to America long term, and we must have a comprehensive strategy to help reject. 
and our greatest ally in the region, here at home. That will help us this kind of extremism. Here's, you know here's, one, thing I've, here's one thing I've, here's, here's one thing I've learned as commander in chief. You've got to be clear in what you mean. Now, you just gave a speech a few weeks ago in which you said... This was a program of the government. For what purpose it was put in place, I can't imagine. It's because of our recruiting effort in the workforce. And making sure we catch violent impulses before they occur. We're going to have to put in place a very comprehensive and robust strategy. One of the reasons I was able to get so many good women to be part of that team, but, but number two, executive privilege to, to prevent all the information from coming out. I'd like to understand who it was that did this, what the idea was behind it. I mentioned three and a half million women, more. I went to a number of women's groups and said, can you help us find folks? It's certainly not on the run. It's certainly not uh, hiding. But let me mention another thing, and that is parents. We need moms and dads helping raise kids. To help the, the, the world of Islam and, and other parts of the world, civilians having been killed by the military there. Number four, we do have to develop their economic, uh, their economic capabilities. Uh, maintain the kind of American leadership that we need. Unless all the population, not just half of it, is developing. Uh, I saw a mother who I had met. And it presents an enormous threat to our friends, to the world. Because I recognize that if you're going to have women, that sometimes they need to be more flexible. Why it led to the violence? Thousands of guns. But number five, the other thing that we have to do is recognize that we can't... A, a flexible work schedule that gives women the opportunities. And we spent some time and we said a prayer. But there have been too many instances during the course of my presidency where I've had to comfort good as new of hunting, but there were a lot of families, sportsmen, uh, and people who want to make sure they can protect themselves. Continue to do nation building in these regions. Part of American leadership is making sure that we're doing nation right. building. And remarkably, about two months later, and I believe in the Second Amendment, you know, we've got a long tradition. Of, you know, we're a nation that believes in the Second Amendment. And so what I've done throughout my presidency and will continue to do is number one, make sure that these countries are supporting our terrorism efforts. We're going to have to have employers in the new economy, in the economy I'm going to bring to play, that are going to be so anxious to get good workers, they're going to be anxious to hire women. That's the net of what's happened in the last four years. We're still down. The Senate will come to order. The clerk will read a communication to the Senate. Under the previous order, the Senate stands adjourned. And